It feels like as a collective at the soul level, new energies have been integrated, perhaps some third chakra activation, some third chakra healing. You might be called to dance, express, laugh, and really embody that sense of joy and peace. Satnam, Amadevi here offering a general reading. As always, take what resonates and disregard the rest. I was getting um, some songs yesterday and they're coming back in today. So I'll share what I've been getting and then you can always take it like as it lands with you. You might get something different. Um, I didn't listen to the songs, so there might be more. But I was hearing, and I was hearing it again today, which is why I'm finally pushing record. If you're with me, I'm ready. So it feels like you will be aligned to your soul tribe to carry out your mission. Um, perhaps there are new partnerships on the table. Perhaps there are new levels of playing on this earthly plane um, here for you. So like doors opening and you are ready to step in and step up. It was also getting Elton John I hope you don't mind that I put down in words. So we have Unthinkable from Alicia Keys and your song, Elton John. Perhaps if you listen to those songs, you might get something else. But with that and the other images that have been coming through the last couple of days, kind of getting it's, it might be time to express yourself, to express and put something into words, your experience and in your into words to heal as a way to advocate for others and for you to process all you've gone through. Your story, your embodied experience might help others. Check in, check in. Is it time to voice your concerns? Check in. Does it feel appropriate to share your story? And in what way, when I think about the word voice as in voicing your concerns, there might be another means of expression here for you. And for some, it might be time for you to share how you feel. Um, so if it is a connection on the table, it is time to break down those walls and open up to a deeper level of vulnerability. It might be time for those words to be heard. Um, it was interesting, power places might come into play. So if you feel yourself drawn to a location, it might be time to step in and it might be uh, like, like it feels like full circle energy going back to go forwards, this sort of thing, um, in a in a healthy way, in a healthy way. Um, but it was very interesting the way they were showing me this place yesterday, or it was like in the wee hours <laughs> um, that I I'd been to before. But they showed it to me. You know, um, I always feel like we're working on like multiple dimensions, this multiple dimensional reality but the way they showed that space really highlighted that the emperor so perhaps aries energy you taking your throne um voicing your concerns or saying again um so something isn't landing right it's time to, to speak up voicing your concerns it's interesting nine of cups what do you want and what will you allow to build and grow? So a weed, a vine, it will grow as you nurture it. A thought will grow as you nurture it. A domino effect will continue until you stop it. Nine of Swords, don't be afraid to speak up. I recently had a conversation with someone. Um, I was, I had meant to say it before, um, but I was really impressed with their ability. Oh, Nine of Wands, that's not Nine of Swords, my fault. <laughs> nine of Wands. Um, light warrior they had told me before high priestess trust your intuition so follow your calling and it is your choice your free will to build this empire to follow through how do you interpret a situation or how you interpret something as in like coming back to voice your concerns because I said that again it's like the way you see things is different than others and you might teach someone through that vision uh, truth 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 the truth might not have been told and yet now it is time to tell it um, healing I, I take they're saying healing what healing modality has served you best and different seasons have and there are different reasons for stepping into different ways. Light codes have been activated. Sometimes you are cocooned in a womb and you're given that bit. Um, and they're kind of expressing this um, 
think of uh, an, an immunization or um, different healing modalities give you a dose of something in order for you to integrate it into your system to heal it, right? So in order to build the immune system, you almost have to, you have to be exposed to a certain uh, element in order to strengthen the immune system, to strengthen the system to work against it, right? It, it, it becomes a shield, right? Your exposure to something then becomes a shield. Sometimes there is that pause in turning in to integrate. There is that moment after you get your immunization, the arm hurts and you might get a little bit sicker, but it's your system rebuilding. Are you getting that? Um, there will be success perhaps. I feel like coming into alignment, Archangel, uh, Metatron is coming to mind right now. Mm -hmm. Change. Be true to yourself. You might have been holding back. You might have been trying to put yourself in a box. You might have been trying to follow suit, right? Because, you know, that's what you're supposed to be. You're taught. <laughs> follow directions and do what you're told. Now it's time to, to call the shots, perhaps. Um, but based on your earthly experience and your otherworldly experience, you're bringing something new to the table to integrate for others to heal. Um, don't get caught up in the web of thought. Step into the matrix and then step back down onto earth. You're dancing between these dimensions and portals will be opening up. The doors will be opening up to the future. So you will see which way to go. You will cut through any resistance and Archangel Michael is here to protect you. So allow yourself to be held in loving light. Allow the cords of the past to be cut and allow this transition into the future to carry you forward transformation here you are growing wings think about they're giving the word chrysalis think about the stages of birth to growth think about the stages of development if we look at it outside of ourselves in terms of the way nature there is time between the the caterpillar coming out in the time of eating nurturing yourself nurturing the soul going back into the cocoon in time before the wings are fully in up operational for you right so there is that drying period so think to that time of their kind of the wings are kind of like rebirthing reality stepping into this new emotional code before it dries right that's how you learn um check you're aware of the tricks hmm. trust the intuitive insights to see past the illusions uh, people like to do that smoke like play those tricks of smoke and mirrors. You can see right through it. So don't let others fool you, right? Don't, and you might be teaching others not to be fueled, fooled. Uh, take time to fuel yourself, rest. But notice here, there's a lot with the third eye here. So this space between the activation of the light codes of the third chakra to express this rebirthing in the second chakra of understanding the emotions and pushing out into the world, birthing into this new reality um, and, and seeing a new, so integrating those as well as with the personal power, you've got that in there too. And you're always been with hearts and that goes without saying, trust the universe, trust divine intelligence, right? over human intelligence so stop questioning your own because you're leaning more on the side of divine intelligence than you are on this earthly like human reality right so these tricks are not your own right but you've learned from it you've mastered the game of manipulation because it's been used against you um because you have the power to call the shots say those prayers it doesn't mean you abuse them you know how to look in you know how to transmute and transform a situation. So this feels like the call to action. And this feels like what's happening through you, like what you've experienced. So you're transforming some trickery and you're letting something rest because it takes time for it to blossom into a new, right? But it's through you that this situation gets transformed and now allow it to rest the tricks are going to be 
put to rest. So no more of those games, right? But it had to come through you in order to change it, to transmute it, to trans. Um, <sighs> listen to the notes of your intuition. Oh, that's beautiful. All right. Is there anything else? That's all I can think of for now. Care for yourself in the earthly. Okay, I hope this made sense as far as like, you witnessed the tricks, you've experienced it, you're transforming the situation, now you get to rest. <laughs> you are going to be carried on um, to something new, okay? A reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. Go within, go for a walk, take a nap, whatever it is for you. Sending lots of love and light your way. Setting up.